Welcome back, everyone. Easter is right around the corner, and Phage is giving our homes adorable rustic decor that are irresistible. Irresistible. True. Funny irresistible. That's exactly <laughs> where I was going, Paigey. These are cute. These are cute and so easy to make. Promise? Promise. Okay. We can make a couple more right now. I take one, you take one. I have, I have Challenge? an idea. Challenge? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, okay great. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Not only are they easy and simple, you actually don't need that many materials in order no. to make them. No. And if you have scrap wood like this, yes. great. <laughs> but most of us don't, so you can get them at the craft store. Great. So, um, and they come in a variety <laughs> of sizes. So these are just called wood rounds. Okay. Um, and I, you can see a variety of sizes. Sure. And these are little wood pieces. They come in a variety pack. Um, and you can take out different shapes. I have limited it to the oval and the teardrop, and we're going to make the ears out of those. Okay. Okay. All so, right, so let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do, we gotta lay it out in front of us, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. So here's a little body for you. Yep. And a little body for me. Okay. Then the head, you can take a larger piece. Are you facing the head towards uh, towards us like this? Okay. Um, toward, I'm towards myself. Okay. Very good. Okay. And then for feet, I'm gonna take a couple of these guys. I want little tiny bunny feet. Oh, they're very cute. Yep. Okay. So this, we've got our head and our um, feet. Okay. Very and good. Body. So now just lock it into place lock wherever it in. you want. Yep. And Easy since enough. we're using hot glue, it is going to dry really, really fast. Great. Um, and you'll see that this is real wood, so you're going to have a lot of variations. I say don't even worry about it. If it's a little off, it's kind of cute. That gives them a little character. It gives them a little character, a little expression, right? Yep. Okay, okay. so our bodies are done. Now the next thing we want to oh. do is take care of their ears. So far, so good. It's okay. so cute. Oh. Okay, so first thing you want to take yep. two ovals. And I'm gonna keep him looking at me. Got it. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue like this, and I'm gonna go underneath his little bunny head. And this, it does take just a second to set up, so you just wanna hold it. Okay. And then, that one's staying, okay, put the other one on. And with bunnies, you know, all their ears are different too, so they could go really any which way. But I really like when a bunny's ear flops over. I think yeah. it's adorable. I'm gonna so, have my ears a little bit already askew. You, you do. Yeah. And then take a teardrop shape, and we're gonna kind of create a bunny flop of an ear. Can I tell you, this is actually, I think, my favorite part. Real, the little bunny ear flop? The little ear bunny ear flop. flop. It's, well, it does make him very, very cute because he's not perfect, you there know? You go. Bent exactly. Over. Okay. So Look at this already. Already. We've we have, literally just started. So we've had, we have five there. And by the end, we're going to have seven that we add to our family. Oh, they're so cute. Super cute. Okay. Now, so we now, add some more, a little bit of embellishments before yes. we start working on the tail and the, uh, the stand, right? Exactly. So, I want them to be fancy, so okay. I've made a little bow. We're of just going to put that off to the side on the left. Very just good. Glue also, that on. also, hot glue. Now, could you use any other kind of glue, or this hot glue is the way to go? Hot glue is the way to go. If you did use other glue, you could use wood glue. It'll be really strong in the end, but okay. it'll take so long to dry, so just, just use the, the, the hot glue. Okay. And now, what are these? These are really cool looking. This was left over from an old DIY that I had. They're wood embellishments. Yeah. So I'm going to put that kind of like on the top of his little bow tie. Okay. So there we go. And, you know, true crafters will have something they can put on this to make it fancy. Right. So whatever you've got lying around yep. your craft room or your house as extra as you can sort of add. Yes. Look, it's so far they're coming together. They're coming together, but they won't stay up on their own. Okay. Oh, we have to make That's them right. then them stand up. But now before we do the stand, don't we have to add the bunny tail? We do like have to add the bunny, the bunny tail. tail. Okay, so now these are just regular cotton balls. Yep. And but if you notice mine on my little bunny family, they're a lot bigger. They've got that little cotton tail. So what you want to do is take a regular oh, cotton ball and just smart. start pulling it apart. That's right. Make them a little fluffier. Make it a little fluffier. Sure. And then how do we attach these guys? Hot glue. <laughs> and because it's going to be seen from the front, you don't want to hide it all the way in the back. So okay. I say maybe just go off to the left or the right. Got it. Just so like you're kind of peering at that little tail. And just kind of load it up. Yep. And, and I'm going to go on the other side of okay. the little bow tie. Excellent. I went think? on the same side. Okay, There's that's looking tail. good. That's his little tail. Okay, now I'm going to take a piece of balsa wood, and this is going to act as our kickstand. So instead of cutting it this way, flat, you want to turn it on its side, and then use an X-Acto knife. Is that about the middle? Eh, yep. It's about the middle. And then just go down, and that creates a little angle. That looked really strong. I just want to point that out. Because it's was... balsa wood. <laughs> I just don't think it looked pretty impressive. You could also like nibble it, and it would it would come off. Okay, so just add a little bit to that. Um, that frame we just made, that yep. kickstand, okay. and then you want to make sure he's sitting up flat, and stick that on the back. Just hold it into place. 
for about 20 seconds till it sits <sighs> up on its own. Look what we have created here. There we go. In front of your eyes, everybody. So Happy it only takes Easter. a few minutes, and you've got Man. all this fun rustic bunny decor for you.